Hey, this is Rick from Mike and Rick Outdoors, and today I want to tell you about my Talon 22 Osprey Pack. It's my favorite day hiking backpack. So let's get right to it. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications, and um, you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos here on Mike and Rick Outdoors. Stay tuned to the end, and I'll give you a little tip on how to stay dry when you're out on a day hike. So the Talon 22 is a 22 liter backpack. It's pretty small, but it handles everything I need on a day hiking trip. The first thing I want to show you is this mesh backing. This keeps you very cool and when you're out hiking. I, I really noticed this. I was at the airport and I took a, my company backpack on a trip and I was sweating by the time I got to the gate and I realized it was the backpack. So the next time I went with a, on a company trip, I, I took this and much cooler, big, big time, big difference. So there's padding mesh all through here. The, uh, the bladder for this is right here. You just pull this Velcro off here. No, that's not true. That is not where the bladder is. This is to adjust uh, the strap so you can, depending on how tall you are, that's what that is. So I guess I forgot about that. But the bladder is actually inside. And watch me forget about where this is. I've been using this for over two years. And yep, see I forgot about where that is. Um, might want to start this video all over again but we'll just keep going so the bladder is actually right here this is between the backpack or the straps here and the, the backpack uh, there's a, a, a hook here deal where you can hold your bladder in place and slide it down in there um, so on um, on the straps one thing that's really nice there's a place for your trekking poles and uh, there's a, a, a holder here. You'll notice I've got satellite messengers. By the way, if you want some information on satellite messengers, I'll leave a link down in the description. And then up here, you'll see a, another link to go take a look at them. This is a Summer Global Hotspot, and this is the Spot Gen 3. Got plenty of them, um, do a lot of reviews on them, and they're great. You really shouldn't go out hunting, backpacking, or whatever without them. So uh, that's pretty much all there is about this, this here. Um, except there are these, um, there's these little loops here on both sides um, where you can attach different things and they're great because I can attach my satellite messengers to them. That's what I primarily use it for. So it's, uh, it's got these real easy to adjust straps on the, for the shoulder straps. Um, on the waist strap, um, there's these two pouches here and this is where I carry little things. Um, you know, whether it might be a little snacks or a knife or, you know, things like that. So both sides, that's where they're at. And you can actually see here, you may not be able to see it real well, but there's some holes through here. And then on the back side, this meshing, this mesh goes all the way through the hip belt. And so even when you have this on, it breathes through it. Uh, really, really great pack. So let's take a look at the other side. There's this mesh pouch here that uh, I, I usually put things like a, my, my quick dry towel, um, uh, mosquito spray, things like that. So there's a, there's a pouch here on the top pocket and uh, I've got my headlamp in here. It's a decent sized pouch, but this is where I carry my compass and, and things like that. Things I need to get to quickly. And there's a, a main compartment and this is a pretty big compartment. In here, it's uh, quite a few things in here. Of course, you know, the most important thing is always have some TP with you. And uh, pretty pretty uh, big, it's, it's a lot of room in here. I, there's a few times I've maxed it out when I was maybe carrying a bunch more gear, camera gear and, and drone and things like that. But uh, usually it's, there's plenty of room in here. Then on, on each side, there's a um, uh, holders for, for water uh, on both sides. And then the nice thing is here too, it's not just that there's these straps here that can like hold it down better um, on both sides this one this one here is an interior strap you can't see it this one over here is an exterior strap also on this here there's this uh, device here that holds helmets uh, I think you know a lot of times for bikers uh, but that's a great to have uh, if you're a climber and all that too you can put it right there there are some places here to put straps on uh, here down the bottom and um, Oh, well, the uh, one thing I, I failed to mention is this trekking pole strap right here. This is also a trekking pole strap. So you slide the trekking pole through here and then you 
attach it into here. It's super easy to use. Well, there you have it. It's uh, pretty much the end of this review. I'm not going to go in a lot of detail. What I really come back to over and over is this mesh on the back. Um, and there's, there's other um, structure in here that hack helps keep the main pack away from your body. So not only is there what area able to get in here, it, uh, it doesn't go, you're not sitting, it's, there's other things in here that helps to keep that air flowing uh, besides just the mesh. The Talon 22 is a really great backpack. I love it. And in fact, that's almost all we have these days is um, backpacks uh, from, from Osprey. And I've got some other ones and I'll do some other more reviews uh, for, other, for those. But I told you I'd have a tip for how to stay dry. So I don't know if you know this, but these are not waterproof. But always carry one of these. I got it from REI again, and it's a duck pack. Actually, it says ducks. I said that wrong. I'm messing up all the time. But, you know, either I'll edit it or I'll just let you see me messing up. It's a ducks back. And what's a lot nice about this, this is the waterproof. Uh, cover and it has a, a pouch that comes with it so it's easy to put back and super simple to attach there, there's there's these holes on the bottom so you know that's where in case the water does get in that's where it drains out so you want that down at the bottom there's these little straps in here that can help secure it around your pack and so you just put it around your pack pretty much just like that put it around the bottom here Again, you can see this hole down here where water can drain out if they're going to get inside. And, uh, and there you go. It's super easy to put on, lightweight. I, I carry it on that internal pouch. And um, in, that, in, in the main compartment, there's a small pouch inside I didn't show you. But it's great for carrying things like this. And this is, uh, that's what I use it for, is that duck's back. There's my little tip to stay dry. So thanks for joining me here again on Mike and Rick Outdoors. And stay tuned for a lot of other great videos. I got playlists and all that for camping gear, hunting, fishing, and uh, just a lot of other great things on the website and on the YouTube channel. So I'll see you back here next time.